Hello, everybody. I want to talk to you about um, getting a Unity project under version control using Git. Um, and so uh, there are a couple things you need to be aware of. And so uh, the first thing is you got to have a Unity project. So I'm just going to go ahead and create a simple blank test project and uh, go ahead and create it. And then from that package, you're going to need to have Git installed. I'm going to show you how to do this using um, the Git bash command. But if you happen to have a source tree or another Git like graphical tool, you can use this as well. The things I'm going to cover, and this is the most important part, is that in a Unity project, like some other big projects, you're going to need to have what's called a Git ignore file. And the Git ignore file just tells Git what we do not need to track. And so that's the key there. We're going to use Git bash for most of the work we're doing, and we're going to host it on Bitbucket. But you can do the same thing through GitHub and other things, uh, other tools as well. So here's my base Unity game. Um, and so let's take a look at where this was saved. And so let me go find that. So here we go. I have a folder called Unity Projects, and in here is the test project. You'll see a series of files that are in here. Uh, currently, we have a project that we haven't really done any work with. But if you had begun work and you realized, oh, I need to put this under version control, um, this works at any stage. Um, and now, if you were to not have started a project first, um, there's other ways to go about it. But I actually, this is my preferred method. I like to have a project first, even if it's just like this, where it's just a basic I just created. Um, you're going to need to have Git installed, and we're going to use Git bash. And if you're on a Mac, this is going to be uh, the terminal. We'll have it all set up. But on a PC, you actually have to install Git and have it up and running. Um, Linux machines, you probably already know how to use this stuff. All right, so the first thing we want to do is, because I did git bash here, I'm in the current directory. Um, I'm going to initialize it, git in it. And this basically allows us to track this as a git repository. Now, I'm going to type git status so you can see what's up. Um, so there's no commits untracked. Okay, this is good. We uh, Really important here, and I probably should have started with it. Um, before you do any commits, before you do any of the stuff on Git, you need to get the Git ignore file. This um, has to be in place, or you're gonna start tracking things you don't wanna track. Um, and then once you begin to track it, it's like almost permanent. It may be hidden, but it's there and accessible, so it's always best to begin with a Git ignore file. So let's go ahead and we're gonna Google that and find it online. So I'm gonna go over here and I'm just gonna type Unity dot git ignore and I've already searched this before so I already have it here um, by the way git ignore uh, is great if you have other projects so this would actually work on other projects too and if you can find the type of environment you're working on in here you probably should be using a git ignore file so I do highly recommend it um, each one has their own way of dealing with projects so you want to keep that in mind uh, we're going to get the raw code here. So you want to click raw and you just want to highlight everything. You can do control A, control C to copy. All right, so we want to get this in place. We're going to go back to git bash. We're actually going to use git bash to do um, all of our um, git ignore file. So touch uh, is a command that will create a file, whatever you put after the word touch, you need a space. And um, this goes back to like Unix days. Uh, Unix and Linux commands have this. Um, there's a lot of command uh, props you can do when you're in command line. I highly recommend you begin learning them. You've already moved on your way here. Uh, we have this file now. If I do a git status, we should see the git ignore is present. And so we're going to use the vim editor to open and edit this. And it has its own sort of set of commands. And um, in the vim editor, it's designed uh, I, I, I think it was designed pre-mouse. Um, so all the things you do in here, you can do without a mouse. The first thing you want to do is type S. S puts you into insert mode. You'll see at the bottom corner, you'll see it says insert. Now we can paste. Shift insert is how you do it on the PC and, and Vim. And I don't know if that's, it, if that's universal or not. Control V will not work in the Vim editor that way on a PC. Just letting you know. Um, it could depend on the environment you're in. At this point, I just pasted all the stuff that I copied. Now we just need to save our changes. So we hit escape, colon, WQ. That stands for write quit. 
And now we've basically saved the file. Now if I do a git status, you're going to see fewer folders are being tracked. That's because we're ignoring the things we don't need to track. So at this point, we can now add, commit, and then push. But at, at this stage, I've begun working on here. Let's go ahead and do that next step anyway. Git add dot. We'll add everything. Um, and then git commit dash m. And we're going to add our commit message. Um, and then just put, um, all right, just initialized project, whatever, starter file. I don't know, there's any number of commit messages you can do. On the first one, pretty straightforward. We're going to do a get status. And now you see on branch master, nothing to commit, working tree clean. Uh, at this point now, we're tracking our project on this local computer, but we don't have a backup, and that's a really important step. So, and by the way, we can do this on Bitbucket or GitHub and anything that hosts a uh, Git repository. I'll show you on Bitbucket. I'm going to click Create. I'm going to click on Repository, and I'm just going to put on here Unity Starter Project. And this is just a test. I'll, I'm just going to eventually delete this. If you're looking for it online, you may not see it. Uh, really important here, because we've already committed and we have some work on here, uh, we do not want to include a readme because that will create a little extra problem. We can include a readme later. In fact, you'll see the instructions once I create it. And right there, create a readme, and you can click on here and learn it. Create a git ignore. See, they're already they're, they're encouraging you to do that. Um, we're already in our repo, so we can skip step one. We're in the directory. All we need are these two commands. First command here is going to basically um, shift insert again, by the way. This right here basically means we're now synced to, we're not synced, we're actually connected to the online repository. And the next one is git push you origin master. I'm going to copy that. By the way, you could copy both lines, paste them in, and it would work. Um, it would actually run the first one and then wait here until you hit enter. Um, all right, so at this point, I'm going to do a git status. Okay. <laughs> oh, I see what happened. I had a, I have the setup to do a passphrase, and I must have hit enter um, before doing that. I'm using the up arrow to cycle through. There we go. That happens sometimes. All right. Uh, that's what you want to see, all that message. It's not bad. It's good. Let's go ahead and take a look. We'll hit refresh. And now we got all those files in there. All right. If you want to add a readme, you want to do other things, that's great. Uh, a couple things I do recommend you do right away when you first start working is the master branch. Typically, you might want to wait till you have your project sort of um, at least in its first sort of prototype or workable state where you're ready to share it with other people. So what I would do right away is create a new branch called dev. I'm going to write git branch dev and uh, git branch. And now you can see that you have dev. The one that has the asterisk and is green is the current branch. So I would do a git checkout dev. And now we're on the dev branch. Dev has everything that master had. Um, but now if we want to do something like change sample scene, save scene as, go into scenes, we'll call this main scene. Um, we'll just call it main. So now we're on main scene and we made a change, right? So we're going to go back here and we're going to do our git status. Uh, Sorry, I'll keep going up here. Now we see we have two new files. So we're going to do a git add. And uh, we'll put a, yeah, we'll just go ahead and do get add dots, just two files. And we'll do one more commit. Git commit dash m um, adding main scene. You always want to have your git message be something that's readable. Now I'm going to do a git push origin and dev. And then this will change push my changes through. Uh, I just did that wrong. That's what I thought. And once we do that, it pushes the changes through. Let's go ahead and take a look here. Uh, hit refresh, and I'm going to click on commits. And on my commits, you can see the two different commits. We can see now that that's on the dev branch. So at this point, we're good uh, to go on our Unity project. And because we have the git ignore file in there, um, we don't have to track all the things that we don't have to track. So that's always a really important piece here. 
Um, and so at this point, you're ready to code. So thank you so much for watching. I hope this helped for you. And uh, at the very least, um, I hope you become a really good command line guru. So stay tuned for other videos. Thanks for watching.